Welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. I'm Theo, and today we're looking at the premium figure from the Pathfinder Battles line. This is the Rusty Dragon in Tavern Bar. Now, you may have noticed that in pretty much all of our previous videos, I have a nice Dwarven Forge set up for you to show off the minis in action, and there's a nice tavern included. Most of the minis I use for the setting pieces in the tavern are from the Terrain Crate, but today we're going to look at a little different bar from the Pathfinder Battles line. Let's open it up and take a look. Let's start by taking a look at the set as a whole placed in a Dwarven Forge terrain setup alongside other minis for scale. This set matches the size of other Pathfinder and D&D miniatures from WizKids and will fit with any other product designed for the same scale. This set comes with three identical bar counters, one rounded corner counterpiece, two almost identical shelves, you can see the carvings on the center posts are mirrors of each other, four bar stools, one table, two barrels, only one of which is shown here, and a keg, which is also not shown here, but will be in our close-ups later. It also comes with six sets of translucent bottles, which you can place anywhere on the other pieces. They'll fit on the table, the countertops, or inside the shelves. There are three unique sculpts for the six sets of bottles, so you get two of each sculpt. It's worth noting there is a deep cut unpainted version of this tavern bar set as well, which you can typically buy for about half the price of this painted version. Note, however, the deep cut unpainted line comes with only one barrel, while this painted set comes with two. Also, the deep cuts line is supposed to be molded with deeper detailing to support a more precise paint job, but since the two sets are pulled from the same designs, noticeable differences in quality are going to come from your painting skills rather than differences in the sculpts. The Deep Cuts line also has a variety of other unpainted furniture you can use to supplement the set, from workbenches to chairs and tables to tools and candles. The Rusty Dragon Inn booster set for which this is the promo, and we will cover the booster boxes in a later video, also includes additional furniture, such as a bed, wagon, cart, crate, barrel, and an identical looking table. Now this set, both the unpainted and painted versions, tends to come with some bent pieces. The bar stools and some of the individual shelves on the shelf sets are particularly prone to being bent. These plastics can be reshaped by running them under hot water, gently bending them into the desired position, and then placing them into ice water to set the new shape. While you could, of course, use this set as any generic bar, the Rusty Dragon Inn is a famed location in the Pathfinder universe's main world of Galerion. Located on the continent of Avistan, in the southwestern section of the region of Varicia, it is the oldest inn in the town of Sandpoint. The surrounding area is known as the Lost Coast, and Sandpoint is pretty much the only notable location there. If you're interested in setting a campaign in the Lost Coast, there is also a Pathfinder Battles miniature set called the Lost Coast, featuring characters and monsters found in that location. The very first Pathfinder Adventure Path, released in 2007, also begins in Sandpoint, so it is quite an important location in Pathfinder history. That first adventure was called Rise of the Rune Lords, which also has an accompanying Pathfinder Battles mini set. Finally, if you want to dig deeper into the area, there is also a campaign setting book specifically for Sandpoint. In the town of Sandpoint itself, the Rusty Dragon Inn is a notable landmark and is named for the large Iron Dragon sculpture on its roof. The building contains lodging rooms, a tavern, and a stage for performances. It is a popular haunt for adventurers, as well as a gathering place on festival days. So that's the tavern bar. I think the quality of this is probably a step under what you get on the terrain crate. Those pieces are very hefty and durable. These are a little bit less so. Of course, these come painted, which is a bonus. Uh, the paint job itself is okay. I think the best part are probably the little translucent bottles. These are really hard to paint yourself. But otherwise, it's a fine set. You'll get a lot of use out of it because there's certainly a lot of encounters in a bar and a tavern in a Dungeons & Dragons or a role-playing game. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. You can also help us by sharing these videos in communities that you may visit that you think may enjoy this. Otherwise, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And we hope to see you next time on The Gallant Goblin.